Rivera back in the studio today. If you have a legal question, give us a call, 436-1212. Charlie, good to see you here. Good to be here. Well, we do have several callers on the line, so we need to go ahead and get to those this morning. Hi there. What's your question for Charlie? Hey, my question is this. In the last two years, my wife has gotten two DUIs. And she goes to court on the second one on the 10th of October. Do they automatically give them um, jail time because it's the second one? Yes. Well, on, actually, on every DUI, you get automatic jail time. Uh, DUIs are kind of a special breed. They're treated different than other crimes. A third DUI is actually a felony. It's not a, a normal felony, by the way. It, it's it's not punished the same as normal ones are. But each DUI, the first one, the second one, and the third one have mandatory time on them. So every time you're convicted of a DUI, you have, you have to go to jail. Now, in this city here in, in, in Wichita, we have kind of a, a motel that people are sent to and they pay for, so they don't actually have to go in the Sedgwick County Jail, but they're incarcerated in that motel mm. to avoid some of the crowding. In all the, uh, most of the other counties around the state, you'd have to go do at least two days in jail and then get probation from the rest of it. And, and it escalates as you go up. It's five days on a second and then 90 days on a third. Okay. So you're going to be incarcerated if you have multiple DUIs. Okay, and does that work with the uh, probationary period or any kind of fines as well? Do those continue to go up? They do. I don't know if the probationary period goes up much, but uh, obviously the fines go up, mm -hmm. the jail time goes up, and on the third one it's a felony. So you, you have a felony on your record. You can't do a lot of, you know, have a lot, you lose a lot of civil liberties. Okay, thank you, okay. Charlie. Mm -hmm. And thank you for calling in. We're going to take our next caller this morning. Hi there, what's your question? Um, yes, my name is Julian Park. Oh. I'm sorry? I think we lost that call. Okay, I think we lost that call. We've yes. got another one, though, so we'll go ahead and get right to that one. Good morning, what's your question? Yes, um, my daughter's dad was killed. At, he was never really in her life, but... I want to know about getting her name changed to mine, my last name. Well, I'm sorry to hear that that happened. Uh, I, what you can do is you can do a name change, and, and you have to go to court and get that done. Uh, so you probably, the best way to do that would be to hire an attorney to do that. But you can go to court and get a name changed. The judge has to approve the circumstances, and I suppose uh, people from his family could come in if there was a real reason not to do that. But uh, you can do that in court. In fact, adults can do that, as we know some of the athletes and football players have changed their names to some strange things at times like Ocho Cinco and things like that so you can change your name yeah, but you have to go to a judge to get it done and you know when we talk about the Ocho Cinco and names like that I mean do they have to do a criminal background check or any of those types of things to make sure you're not trying to evade anyone by changing your last name well I don't think so because your social security name would your social security number would stay the same okay. your fingerprints would be the same so they're gonna know who you are I mean we've had a number of athletes that have changed them and, and I, I remember when I was a, a, a kid watching basketball world be free was the first one I heard do it <laughs> and uh, some others have done it I, I, I think Ron Artest for the Lakers have done it and some other people have done it and you can do that but uh, you need to go to a judge to get it done okay thank okay? you Charlie mm -hmm. we have time for another caller this morning hi there what's your question good morning what's your question for Charlie oh my question for Charlie is if there is a statute of limitation on DUI. Uh, yes, there is. There's statute of limitations on everything. On a DUI, <clears throat> as almost all criminal cases, it's five years. Uh, it used to be two years on some and five years on the other, but now it's, it's pretty uniform. It's five years. <clears throat> and on some fraud things, like involving priests and child abuse and things like that, uh, if it's hidden, it can go back even farther than that. But as a general rule, it's five years. Okay, thank okay. you, Charlie. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for calling in. Good luck to all our viewers out there who did place a call this morning. Charlie will be back here next Wednesday if you do not get on the line. Have a good week. Okay, thanks.